Hi everyone and hi Luna, welcome to this call today. I'm so excited to have you here today and to hear more about your Oracle card deck that you're creating right now and about your work with the fairies. So you are currently creating a fairy medicine Oracle card deck and um, for those of you who don't know anything about my work, um, and how we connected. Luna actually came to me several months back and she had had this dream of creating her own Oracle card deck for a very long time. And that is something that I happen to help spiritual entrepreneurs and leaders with. And so um, Luna came to me to seek my support with her creative process of getting her Oracle card deck done and out into the world. So we've been working together very closely for the past, I think, three months, almost four. And it's yeah. been a really beautiful and exciting process for me as well. And um, we both feel very connected to the medicine of the fairies and the elementals. So it has just felt like a perfect fit from the start. And um, it's just been really beautiful to work with you. So Luna is currently running her Kickstarter to fund the first print run of her deck. And I just felt like this is a really um, beautiful opportunity to connect with you in this way and to share a little bit more about this work with my audience and yours. And mm -hmm. so I just felt really strongly inspired. Like yesterday, I just felt like I need to ask you, do you want to have a call today <laughs> and share this? I know. So I'm super excited you're here. And so very briefly, Luna is the founder of The Medicine Moon. You can find, find her on is it themedicinemoon.com mm -hmm. website. Yes. And we're going to share more about the Kickstarter a little bit later in this video. Um, Luna is a shamanic healer from an ancient line of healers and medicine women. And she has been working with the fairies for a very long time since your childhood, right? Mm -hmm. And so on this call today, we're going to hear more about her deck and also about her work with the fairies. So I'm very excited um, to hear a little bit more about your story as well. And before we dive into, <clears throat> sorry the questions that I've prepared for you. Is there anything else that you would like to share about yourself and your work that you feel is important for our audience to know? <laughs> oh, that's always, that's always the question of the hour. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you, Anna, for having me here today. I'm really excited to do this. Um, I, I don't know. I'm a mixed bag. I always tell people like whatever the universe feeds me, like, I give out to the world and I think that's that's part of being a medicine person um some people like call it sh you know shamanism or a medicine woman I just I just know I have this connection to the universe and the earth in a way that helps me be a guide and yeah uh it's it can be as extensive and as simple as we want it to be I guess <laughs> <laughs> but yeah yeah that is so beautiful and I I can relate in many ways I'm the same way you know I I'm passionate about so many things and do so many different things and have done so many different things so whenever I get this question I never know where to start but <laughs> yeah beautiful thank you so much um for sharing and so the first thing I wanted to ask you is a very simple question. What inspired you to create this deck? I, I know you've told me that mm. you've had this dream for a very long time. So what inspired yeah. this idea? And also um, what gave you the nudge to finally go for it? So, oh, I've been wanting to do a deck for a really long time. And for a few years, I've been trying to find an artist. I was you know, just hitting dead ends or I didn't have the financial backing and um, it was really hard. And I just was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to try to print this on my own or edit this? Cause that's not my strong point. And so 
I've been trying to get this done probably for around five years now. And so, but I've, but this has been a dream for a really long time. And um, I ended up getting your information from Randy. And so I remember I had your information a while back and then the pandemic hit and I was, there's just this open window where I was like, I need to contact her. <laughs> <laughs> and I did and it was a fit and it was great and of course I'd be doing it my first deck during the pandemic why not <laughs> that seems to be my life <laughs> so you know for me the inspiration of this like I've been working with the fairies for a really long time and they have really helped me and been supportive in their teachings and I really felt like this was a crucial time to bring this out into the world. Like I felt like I had a very small window, which is, you know, I did this, this deck and most of it in a really small window as it is, you know, most people do something like this in a year and I did it in a few months and, but I felt the urgency of it. I felt like it needed to be out and it needed to be done and just meeting you and having the process of it and um, finding someone to help me with the art just all flowed. And it happened and now we're here. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's so magical how all of this fell into place. I, I remember when we first um, connected, you didn't even really have an artist yet. So just for no. everybody's information, I'm actually not creating the art. I'm just doing the graphic design and the editing. But we that was the first step kind of like we already started working on the content and everything and we didn't even have an artist yet but then something <laughs> just magically fell into place we just found the perfect person to support you with the artwork and I just think it's it's so beautiful I'm gonna try to share a few examples of cards that we've designed somewhere in this video so you can see <laughs> and it's just so unique and so you also um, I've just been in love with the artwork so much and there's so much beautiful energy like I can really feel the you know the healing energy and magic just really so um, powerfully coming through the artwork yeah. so that was it's just so beautiful how everything has aligned <laughs> it is I um, loved it and and I I knew that I always promised the fairies the first deck that I ever did would be theirs and this is me following through with that so you know the inspiration has been a long time coming and and it finally happened and in a time where in you know humanity the fair the medicine of the fairies is really needed they're bridgers and so that bridge is needed at this time mm. yeah that makes a lot of sense and um, can definitely feel just also like in connection with the the pandemic and everything that's been going on in the world like I, I need to be out in nature like all the time and and mm -hmm. I always like feel this really strong connection to the fairies and the elementals and definitely seeing the same thing it's it's so important to have that connection right now it is and they keep reminding me you know it's everything's okay you know and I feel the fairies are really good at um, kind of helping me remember my connection to nature and everything that is in, in this universe, in this world, and, and always remembering that I'm, you know, not to listen to fear too much and, and just know that yeah. I really have the power to um, not just shape my own reality, but also, you know, through my own focus and energy, kind of creating that ripple effect that goes back out into the world. And so uh, I would love to hear a little bit more about your work with the fairies and yeah. especially how you discovered this connection and how you started working with them and how this connection has evolved for you over the years. I've always felt like a fairy, which I didn't really ever understand. Like every Halloween, I would want to be a fairy. I would even like in college, like I would by my wings like I was obsessed like it was just I couldn't be anything else but a fairy every year I don't know what it was like but I mean maybe it's the the Disney freak in me but because I was like obsessed with Tinkerbell too um me too but <laughs> so it's like it it 
been a progression. I, you know, I think being in ceremony and, and doing a lot of the native ceremony too, the fairies started to really show themselves more to me. Um, they, their teaching started to come through a lot stronger in the last eight years, I should say, and um, through helping clients. And there was times, you know, um, I would be working with a client, like with one of my clients and, you know, they would tell me, hey, like this person needs to uh, create a garden and um, set their intention. And they would just create miracles in people's lives. And they would teach me how to do that. And I learned how to do that in my own life. And um, with that, it's just been, you know, one of those relationships and connections that I nurture um, with them. But I I feel like it's just always been a part of me. And can you share some some more examples? Like when you work with the fairies, when you're working with a client, um, mm. what can that look like? And like, how do you incorporate the work with the fairies in your client sessions? And and what are some of the miracles that can happen as a result of this work? What have you seen happening? Um, they guide me a lot to do... Um, like offerings to the land uh where and this is in in collaboration to the fairies and the ancestors and and they you know because they're bridgers they work with different elementals and in the spirit animals as well so they they guide me a lot of times to give an offering and when i do the offering to the fairy specifically you know, it's like crystals, candy. I mean, I tell people if you have pets, like obviously don't put the candy out, but um, things that are colorful, plants, herbs, um, and it calls their energy in. And so they can come into that space and, and begin to heal. You know, when you, when you begin to work with them and to call them in, um, you're allowing that, that healing into your life. And so they've brought that through working with clients. A lot of times, you know, um, if someone's having a hard time physically or, you know, even financially, um, they really help to heal that part. And, you know, they'll tell me like, Hey, can you tell that person to build a little fairy garden in a potted plant? Um, or have them maybe charge some crystals out in the moon or something, or have them build a grid or have them, you know, um, beautify their house in a way that makes them happy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and so they show me how to work with the energy to make it flow in somebody's life. Because a lot of times it's, I guess it's kind of like, you know, feng shui in the sense of like, you, you learn how to, you know, place something in a corner of the house. Well, they know how to do that with nature and how to connect that into somebody's life. And it's, it's created so many miracles. One time I had a client, uh, that I told her, I was like, they're telling you that you need to like work on your garden and build your garden and build a fairy garden. She did. And she's like, I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, this seems so weird. Like, and I'm spending this money. And like, I think that weekend she ended up making a really good amount, like in tips. Um, and that I want to say that probably happened several times. Um, that's happened with me. That's happened with other clients where they'll just see miracles. And even in second life, I built them a sim and they told me that if I did that for them, my dreams would come true. And it's been a pretty amazing year for me, you know, despite that we're in a pandemic. So they, the miracles happen. <laughs> they definitely mm. do. Yeah, they totally do. I've actually witnessed this on myself too, just while working on your deck. I don't really want to go into too much detail here because this <laughs> is your call, but um, I can just say like, there's been so much transformation in my own life, specifically in connection with, with some of the topics that, you know, are really relevant for this deck yeah. and, 
and um, definitely a lot in the relationship area and just a lot of healing um, that has happened and also other actually a lot of business growth too and mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean a lot of beautiful things but there are definitely some connections that I've seen and, and just even working on the messages right now I've been working on your booklet yeah. um, I can just tell you what I feel energetically while I'm channeling through those those messages the descriptions for the booklet like it's very clear to me that something very powerful is happening and so that is really beautiful to see and so I would love to hear a little bit more about like maybe your more personal connection to the fairies and and what are some pieces of wisdom and some important things that they have taught you that have made a big difference for you in your life and that you think we could all benefit from hearing. It's funny because you were talking and there was a squirrel outside my window <laughs> and I had to look out there. Uh, you know, that it's a really good question because that's why, you know, that's why I also wanted to do this deck. I wanted to write a book at first and then I was like uh yeah I heard no the deck has to come first and so you know their teachings have taught me to face my fears and a lot of times people think that fairies are like airheaded and they're not they're very forward they're very they're strong and they're little they're little warriors they're sassy they know what they want and they know how to do it and so they've taught me to take care of business, <laughs> to deal with my stuff. Um, but one can still do it in a lighthearted way without having to spiritually bypass, without having to, um, I guess, avoid the issues. You, you can face your issues in a space that brings you know, a productive way of changing your life. And so they've definitely taught me that, you know, that's probably one of the biggest lessons in, for me personally of working with them. Um, you know, they have created so many miracles in the sense of like, you know, I, I talk about this a lot about being homeless. And there's a few things that, that helped me out of that space. One was chanting and two was working with the fairies. And they reminded me that I needed to have a daily practice, which is a card that I do have in the deck. And so uh, having the daily practice, honing my energy, mastering my energy, because they know how to master their energy. They know who they are and they don't really sway from that. And so they were, they really taught me that. Um, and so they have been teachers for me uh, and they've helped me really heal my heart you know, in spaces mm -hmm. of love. And I really show a lot of what they've helped me with and support me with in the process of doing this deck, what's in there and how I, you know, wanted it conveyed. Um, and that, I feel like that's why that medicine is really strong is, is because I made sure that the energy in, in the pictures also held that medicine. So people don't even like, you can read what's going to be in the booklet, but once you hold a card, like that energy is there as well. And when you read it. Mm. So for me, it's very personal. Um, it's the teachings that they've taught me. Um, you know, they continue to show up in my life. You know, for me, this was a miracle getting this done. Yeah, I'm feeling that so deeply and especially the teachings about I, I really love what you said about you know the fairies being very straightforward and and mm -hmm. teaching us to face our fears but also doing it with lightness and um yeah I've been working with the elementals for many many years and I feel that 
it's always been so beautiful for me to hear their perspective on love and relationships, especially, and yeah. kind of having that balance, you know, knowing, I mean, ultimately, they always tell me the ultimate lesson is always love. But then also knowing when I need to keep my boundaries and, and doing that in a way that doesn't hurt me or anybody. And that doesn't come from a place of fear. And I feel that's that's such a beautiful thing to learn and has been so so healing for me and also while working on this deck specifically and um, I love what you said about the artwork too and you know how it contains the the energy and the the medicine that you want to share with the world in a very powerful way and I think it's, it's so beautiful that you had this opportunity to work with the artists that you found that you're collaborating with. So you were actually able to do part of the work yourself and, and just yeah. really be so intentional about every little detail of the artwork. And I think it really shows, I think it's, it's the best case scenario really. <laughs> Yeah. It was a lot of work to do that mm -hmm. because it was in a two, I didn't sleep. I would stay up all night getting the art done, you know, setting up kind of the props and everything that needed to do for the photo mm -hmm. inside, you know, this virtual space. And, and so, you know, all, so much of me is in all of this and from the beginning to end. And I was like, but it had to be that way. So it, it just, it, it was perfect. It's perfect how everything kind of unfolded. Absolutely. I've just been enjoying watching this process so much just from start to finish. And we're getting very close to the end now. So you have about like 11 days left on your Kickstarter. Yeah, okay. 11 or 10 days. And so once the Kickstarter is done, we're pretty much going to get the files ready for printing very quickly. And then um, the deck will be Absolutely. available very soon. So I'm super <laughs> yes. excited about that. I um, am too. Yeah. So I think this is the perfect moment to share a little bit more about your Kickstarter. If anybody wants to support your work, learn more about your deck, um, pre-order their deck, they're actually the, the Kickstarters. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not just you receiving donations, but you're actually, you know, we have a lot of different offers, including yes. ordering the deck and, and other things like you can order more than just one deck at a time as well. Right. Which I'm actually thinking about doing. I've <laughs> ordered one so far, but then I thought oh, I should actually order more. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a fun way because mm. I, I just actually, oh, I should have brought one out, but you know, mm. um, I get, I'm, I have a limited edition button that's coming out and, and, uh, it's just, it's been fun to kind of do this. Cause I can't do that once they go on Amazon, I can't offer these things. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm actually in the middle of also getting together a, uh, Bigfoot and uh, and the Dreamers card holographic sticker if it if it makes it to the goal, so mm, that's super exciting. Yes, and I, I love how you integrated Bigfoot in, in different ways in the cards. <laughs> There's actually a, a Bigfoot card, but also you know the way he's hiding and in, in different <laughs> images. So much yes. fun. Yeah. yeah the, the fairies and the bigfoot mm -hmm. they go together you know the the elementals them i mean i had there just because in the in the native too like when i've done ceremony like anytime bigfoot has been around the fairies have been around or the little people or vice versa and so mm -hmm. i had to have bigfoot in their hiding and it's like a personal thing to me too and it's kind of inside joke with me and a lot of my friends and so i i just i had to so i do have like little things that i hid in these cards that are very personal and so people close to me will understand when they see it so other people will be like why is this here um, <laughs> 
Bigfoot was one of them. I do in the Bigfoot photo have an image that looks like Mount Shasta too. And so that was intentional as well. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm not sure I may have mentioned this in the beginning of the call, but you are actually based in um, Mount Shasta. So that's mm -hmm. it's actually really I feel that energy comes through as well in your in your deck and in yeah. in your work. Just a really powerful connection um, to this area as well. And so one of one of the offers that you have to in your Kickstarter is actually a class with you for anybody who wants to learn more about. Is it working with the fairies or working with the oracle card deck? Or It'll both? be both. Yeah, it's going to be both. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a four week class, but it, it might end up being a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't, I won't teach it in this type of intimate space like I will that I'm offering for the Kickstarter. So it's kind of one of those things I'm just doing specifically for that. I mean, I will be teaching other classes, but this is going to be a smaller size class. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited for that. Um, and to kind of teach through you know what they wanted for the deck and how you know they want their medicine to be out there in the world yeah I think that's a really beautiful opportunity for mm -hmm. anybody who's interested in learning more about while well, working with the cards but also with the fairies and the medicine I know that like, you have so much so much beautiful powerful wisdom to share that can't even be shared in just one deck there's like so much more. So I would definitely recommend this to anybody who, who feels called. And so I'm going to leave the link to your Kickstarter somewhere below this video, maybe inside the video too, if I can. <laughs> I just got a new computer, so everything is still a bit new, but I'll figure <laughs> it out. <laughs> so it's fun when we get new electronics. <laughs> mm -hmm. And other than that, um, what other ways are there for people to get in touch with you if they have any questions about your Kickstarter, about your yeah. Oracle card deck, or about you and your work? What's the best way to get in touch with you? Um, so my website, themedicinemoon.com is probably the best way because, you know, people can leave me messages there. Um, I have a new email. I think it's luna at themedicinemoon.com, um, but it's also on my website. And then I have my Instagram page, which is the Medicine Moon, um, which people can get it in touch with me there as well. Wonderful. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. And before we end this call, is there anything, any any last words that you would like mm -hmm. to share? Um, you know, I, I said I've said this actually a few times today, and I feel like this is their message today. It's like if you feel called to it, like don't question yourself. You know, when they when they um when they call somebody like in to begin that initiation process of working with them it's it's a really magical thing and sometimes we want to question it or we want to be like why are we been drawn to this but you know it's sometimes allowing ourselves to open up to that mm. and not resisting it so much <laughs> I love that. And I think that's definitely something that I've also learned from the fairies, you know, just yeah. trust when you get the impulse and if it feels good and, and you know, you have to do it, just go for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank you so much, Luna, for being here with me on this call yeah, today. It was a very you. spontaneous recording. So I'm glad we were able <laughs> to make it happen today. And for everyone, once again, I'm going to leave the link to the Kickstarter where you can pre-order the deck and check out Luna's other offers as well, uh, somewhere below this video. And also I'm gonna include a link to your website too for every, anybody who may be watching this later after the Kickstarter, because this is gonna stay up on my YouTube channel forever, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if, anybody's interested in learning more about my work, you can find me on wonderlandpublishing.net. I'm going to leave the link to my website down below as well. And that would be if you're interested in learning more about creating and publishing your own Oracle card deck. So thank you so much 
to everybody and thanks again Luna for everything that you shared with us today and I'm so excited about this project and can't wait to see it too. fully come to <laughs> life in physical form very soon yay <laughs> me too i'm a little anxious i'm ready though 